Hey there guys, welcome back to Genshi Plans. I am filming in the nursery again, which I guess is the indication lately that our older daughter is at her grandparents' house. They invited her over for a sleepover and she was really excited to go. And honestly, our feelings were kind of hurt, but I know that she's, uh, for one thing, I love that she has such a great relationship with both, set, both sets of grandparents. Um, these are my in-laws. They live just like a two minute drive from here. Um, and it's really great that she has such a great relationship with all of them um and she's excited to spend time with them uh but also i know that she's it, the isolation of you know we're trying to keep the baby safe until her two month shots is i think really getting to her <laughs> she's um you know just looking for any opportunity to hang out with anybody other than us um so our baby uh, Bridget is one month old this week, uh, which is crazy. It kind of flew by. Uh, I guess the first few weeks I was sort of in that haze of like trying to heal, you know, as you do. Uh, but things are feeling good, better, you know, as far as my body. Um, I still feel a little SPD twinges actually sometimes when I'm trying to sit up or move around using specifically my core. You know, if I have to like carry the baby and sit up or get out of bed, sometimes that can kind of cause some twinges, which is weird. Um, still, if you don't find this too TMI, I'm still dealing with a little bit of spotting, um, but I think that's pretty normal still, especially since I have started picking up my toddler now. Um, I wasn't supposed to be allowed to, according to the doctors, and I told her that. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't pick you up. The doctor said I can't, and she was like, okay with that. Um, but I, I missed my snuggles and so I've gotten, um, you know, I've been picking her up more often now. She's probably been 30 pounds for the last year. It's kind of weird. Um, and because she hasn't grown much in the last year, uh, you know, things slow down when you get older. Uh, it's crazy to me because I guess I had forgotten just how fast newborns grow. Um, so Bridget was born seven pounds, 10 ounces, regained her birth weight by two weeks, um, and at that point had already grown half an inch um, from her 20 inches to 20 and a half, at least according to, you know, the way they measure babies, if you weren't familiar, um, at the pediatrician's office, they just mark them on the paper. They sort of stretch out their legs and mark their head and feet on the paper. It's not a very exact science. Um, and so it's, you know, I, I don't know if I trust that all the time because there was one time that Agnes got a measurement that was like way off and it made her growth chart look a mess. Um, anyway, but it's crazy. She's already now at one month, um, pretty much outgrown some of her newborn jammies. Um, I haven't put all of her newborn stuff away yet because some still fit, some don't, you know, sizing is completely ridiculous, but there's at least a couple pairs of jammies that are too tight on her that I need to put in storage, um, which is crazy. I think the newborn disposable diapers are too small on her or getting to be too small on her. So I need to pull out the size ones. We have like two and a half boxes of size ones. We've been using those overnight just cause it's a little bit easier. They don't leak as much overnight if they get, it's harder to saturate a disposable diaper. And she has started to get to that phase of not pooping overnight, um, thank goodness. And so we don't have to change her as often. Um, and so it's just easier if we can leave her swaddled in a wet diaper. Um, <laughs> cause with the disposables, they don't really notice as much. So we still use cloth during the day. Um, and I don't think anyone judges people for that. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's the, that's the thing, uh, that they say every cloth diaper used is disposable that you don't use. So there you go. I like using cloth. I prefer it, but overnight, I also prefer not getting peed on, um, while holding a baby, even though you sort of, uh, get to a point where you don't think of a newborn's urine being anything dirty. <laughs> It's just something that's just sort of a, a light coating over everything you wear probably by the end of the day. Um, so the thing that has been a struggle the last, man, a while, it's weird. So, okay, so sleep has been a mess. And I thought I fixed the lighting before I started recording. The sun's already moving and I don't care. Um, sleep has been a mess. She doesn't like going to sleep. She, last night, uh, my, so my, we take shifts. My husband takes the like eight to one or two, and then I take the sh from then until the morning. Um, 
And so last night he was up trying to get her to sleep for like four hours straight. Um, the night before, it was probably about three hours that he was trying to get her to sleep and two and a half for me after that. Like she slept for 45 minutes and then it was my turn and it took two and a half hours to get her down. And she only then slept on top of me. Um, and so last night, I, when it was my turn, just took her to bed and we co-slept and we slept great. So honestly, I think that we need to think about making that just sort of the status quo. Um, there are safer ways to co-sleep if you're you know, worried about AAP recommendations. Of course, we all are. Um, there are ways to co-sleep that make it safer. So I think we're going to maybe consider making that more of the standard until she gets a little bit older and then we can try to form some better habits. But yeah, she like spent, like I said, she slept 45 minutes and then a chunk the night before last and then spent all of yesterday asleep, basically. She woke up for just long enough for me to take her one month photo and post it to Instagram. And then that was pretty much it. Um, oh, by the way, I'm mentioning Instagram. I have a separate Instagram account that's for just my friends and family that I use to post baby photos. So if you're looking at my account that's linked down below, that's all just planner stuff. Um, if I, There's some lifestyle stuff that might get posted to stories, but I'm not good about that. So um, just be aware of that, that uh, I don't post a lot of photos of my children on my Instagram for my channel. So, but yeah, sleep has been the thing. And so uh, with Agnes away last night, at least we got to sleep in more because Agnes, of course, will wake up at like six or seven. And then that's when our day starts. Today, we were able to sleep in until like eight, um, 8.30 maybe. And then we got donuts. And yeah, last night we watched a movie and drank a bottle of wine. So we were taking advantage a little bit of having Agnes out. But um, yeah, that's, I guess, I suppose we're talking about Bridget because she's the one month and that's what the update is about. Basically, yeah, she's been growing. Um, she has not been sleeping and that is pretty much it. It's funny, the things that are different between two different kids, like, with Agnes, she would fall asleep with the boob and it was never a problem. Like if I needed her to fall asleep, she would pretty much fall asleep nursing all the time. Um, but Bridget doesn't. She really doesn't fall asleep on the boob as often. Unless she's already really sleepy. I mean, sometimes she does. Sometimes she'll fall asleep nursing, but she doesn't comfort nurse as much. If she's full, she won't want to nurse. She'll complain. Um, and then the other thing that's really funny about her is she doesn't like the feeling of her cheeks against my chest because it like sticks and she's always like, trying to pull herself up because she doesn't like it sticking so I have to put like a blanket on my chest and then lay her on my chest and she'll fall asleep and then um, I was able to put her down in the bassinet and just have that blanket that was between us like on top of her because it was already warm so I think that that's going to be one of our strategies where we just keep trying different strategies and sharing them with each other and then they never work a second time so that is just what it is like in the fourth trimester, I guess. And fortunately, I'm off work until she's three months old. So that's something that hopefully she'll start to become a little bit more reasonable by then. I know that it was around three and a half months that we were able to have like a reasonable bedtime routine for Agnes. Um, so I'm hoping that something will start to solidify by then. And then around four months is when it is considered generally uh, to be an okay time to start sleep training. And that works so well for Agnes. I'm definitely a proponent. Um, it's worth it. I don't know. Some people think it's cruel to let the baby cry. It's cruel to you. I think it's cruel to the parent to have them listen to the baby cry, which is why I suggest that whether you're doing Ferber intervals or whether you're doing extinction, you spend that time in the bathroom with the fan on or across the house with headphones. Turn off the baby monitor, don't torture yourself. But that is not what today's video is about because she's only one month and right now it's, it's too early. She's still developing and I have to keep reminding myself of that because I get very frustrated um, when she just doesn't go down. She's just wide awake for two and a half hours straight. But she does okay with co-sleeping. And I'm just repeating myself, I don't know, I think even despite getting a decent amount of sleep last night, I think I'm just in a constant 
state of slight sleep deprivation. So that's probably why. <laughs> anyway, uh, things have been going good. The, the weather was pretty warm this week, but we stayed inside for most of it. And it's um, hopefully going to be going down to the 80s and then 70s um, over this weekend and into next week. So I've put in an order for some seeds for the garden um, and hoping to get some of those planted next week. Uh, next week also we're going to start doing some prep for Christmas so that I can have that done ahead of time, which is the plan. But all of that was in um, this last Thursday's video. So check that out if you missed it. And then uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss like next Thursday's video. And I'll see you then. Uh, so hit the like button and the the bell button and you know what I mean. Thank you guys for everything. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.